Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I'm gonna talk about the Criterion Collection of Police Story. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. The 1970s and the 80s were a really popular period for many action movies from Hong Kong and China. For example, starting in 1972, Five Fingers to Death was released across America and it was really popular, so popular that it started a craze in America that was called Black Bell Theater, where basically tons and tons of companies imported tons and tons of martial art films to America and have them dub. And of course, the public just loved the movies, just absolutely loved the movies. However, during like 1973, the movie Enter the Dragon came out with Bruce Lee. And of course, people want more and more and more martial art movies. After the sudden death of Bruce Lee, many companies in China and Hong Kong decided to make a lot of movies that were based upon Bruce Lee, but not really Bruce Lee. Among these imitators were people like Jackie Chan. And by the way, prior to New Fist of Fury, Jackie Chan actually worked with Bruce Lee in the movie Into the Dragon. Of course, during the late 70s, Jackie Chan decided to no longer be a Bruce Lee imitator, however, to make his own movies with his own style. Basically, he took the concept of martial arts and comedy and combined them together to create martial art comedy, starting with Drunken Master. When Jackie Chan tried to make it to America, basically, he was not very successful. However, as soon as he went back to Hong Kong, he made movies like Project A, as well as the Police Stories movies. The Police Story films are an interesting bunch of films due to many factors. Like, for example, each fight in the series is so different than the other movie. Not only that, but the tones in the movies are also really different. Like the first four movies are really, really funny and not that serious, whereas the later movies are much more serious than the earlier installments of the franchise. My personal favorite of the franchise has to be like the third movie, Super Cop. However, like the first movie and new police stories are also my favorite ones too. In the age of CGI, it is really, really easy to fake stuff. However, with the case of Jackie Chan and other Hong Kong movies, what you see is what you get. The majority of the movies made by Jackie Chan after the 80s basically show outtakes of what happened on set. And oh my god, like the injuries, man. They really, really just add up. If you guys have not seen Police Story or any Jackie Chan movies, by all means, just check them out, please. Just please, just check them out. So let's take a look at the Criterion Collection of the Police Story movies right now. The Criterion Collection went all out with their edition of the Police Story movies. Basically, the first front has like the artwork for the first Police Story movie. And when you flip it around, you get the second artwork for the second Police Story movie. When you open up the set, you have two discs. The first disc is for the first movie, and the second disc is for the second movie. What is so cool about this particular edition is the fact that you receive a poster for this set. Behind the poster, you also receive an essay about the making behind the movies. As far as the extras are concerned, there's like so much extras, like so much. If you guys want to see the extras, pause right here for this video because oh my god, like there's just so much to cover for this uh, extra part. Police Story 2 has at least two different cuts. There's also audio options for both Cantonese and English. The picture quality is fantastic and like this set again has so much extras and so many audio options is ridiculous. Like this set is by far at least one of the best sets I've seen for a martial art movie. I'll give this set a 5 out of 5. The amount of effort that Criterion has put in this set is just so, so awesome. What do you guys think about these movies? Tell me down below. And until next time, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Be
Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler